Hi, and welcome to this introduction to Agile Way of Working, the game. You will be playing a member in an Agile team of four, trying to complete the work plan for the next 10 days. You need to use both teamwork and continuous improvements to be truly successful. The game plays like a board game with tokens and cards to move around the table. Only in this digital version, you can do it online and from home, but together. Each player has a home on the left of the game board. It contains a token with a player portrait and also shows which skill the player is an expert at. In this case, the red skill. You'll be able to learn more skills from your co-players. This is the sprint board. It shows the work ahead of you. It is split in stories. Each story split in a number of tasks. Moving all tasks from the to-do column all the way to the done column is the object of the game. Each task requires a specific skill, shown by the colored circle on the top right of the card. It also takes a number of days to finish, equaling the number of white squares. Another option is to work on continuous improvements. In the long run, it will make the team more efficient. The game is played over 10 rounds. Let's play a few to learn how the game is played. Each of the 10 rounds starts with a daily event, with special rules for how this day is played. Flip the next daily event hexagon to reveal what it says. You can flip it by hovering over it with the mouse cursor and pressing F on your keyboard. Pressing spacebar while hovering over anything in the game will zoom in, making text easier to read. The first event says that the red skill cannot be used today. This means the gene will have to find something else to do this round. The second phase is the work phase. This is where the team decide what to work on and who should work on it. There are four options. The first option is to move a task from the to-do column to the doing column and put your team member to work on it. You can also work on a task already in the doing column. Remember that the team member must have the skill required for the task, in this case the purple column. The second option is to work on continuous improvements. Any number of players can put the team member to work there. The third option is to work with an expert on a task. That way, the team member can learn the skill for future rounds. You can only learn from an expert, a team member whose round token has the color of the skill. Finally, the fourth player decides to get started on another task. Step 3 of the round is to mark up the work you performed. You do that by moving grey cubes called work units to all tasks the team have been working on, one for each task. Even if two team members have been working on the same task, you still put one work unit on it. Then put one work unit on the white spaces in the continuous improvements for each member working there. Filling a row of spaces with work units means you can flip one of the continuous improvement cards. Step 4 of the round is to let the team members go back home after a hard day's work. Each player moves the team member token back to their respective house. If they have been working with an expert, they get to learn a new skill. Put a cube in the color of the skill in the skill tree to show that he or she is now able to work on tasks of that color too. The fifth and final step is to move all tasks that are complete, having all white spaces filled with work units, from the to-do column to the review column. And that's one round of the game. The next round we flip another daily event.
This time we get a bonus from working together with an expert on a task. So let's put that to use. We also have the fourth option available to the team. That is to review a task in the review column. Once that is done, you can move the task to done. The red player can now work on purple tasks since that skill was learned in the previous round. And that's how you play Agile while you're working the game. Can you complete all stories in time?